Libra and Cross Watchers, welcome to my channel. If this reading resonates with you, great. If it does not, it is a general reading. It is not meant to resonate with everybody. Um, please be sure to check your Moon, Libra, and Venus sign. Um, those signs may uh, give you the answers that you're looking for. If you do like the reading, though, please be sure to like and subscribe. The subscribe button is right on the bottom left-hand corner uh, of the video. If you just tap on the subscribe button, you'll see all my future posts, okay? All right, so let's get started, Libra. Let's keep out all this stuff. Messages for Libra. Okay, Libra, so we can be dealing with um, a water sign. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. We could be dealing with an Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Uh, we also have air signs here, which is um, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy. We also have fire, which is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. So the general energy of the reading is going to be the devil. Okay, so we're looking for change and transformation here. Or no, excuse me, the devil. I'm so sorry. I've been doing readings all day. I'm a little tired. Please forgive me. Um, the devil is going to be uh, obsession. Either someone is obsessed with you or you are obsessed with somebody else. I'm just looking at these cards. We have so much conflict here. Okay. So the general reading here is going to be um, the devil. So we have obsession, probably someone stalk stalking you on social media. Um, a lot of passion. I mean, this is either your, I mean, this is your energy, Libra. So either you're, you're really obsessed with something or uh, something is restricting you possibly. Well, let's see here, okay? So we have the Eight of Cups here. Again, water energy, um, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer energy. So this is you emotionally detaching yourself from a situation, okay? Um, as you can see, you're, you're leaving. You, you were, you're leaving a situation that you're already emotionally detached from. And then to clarify that, we have the Fool, which is taking risks. So you may be, we, we may have a separation here. We do have the Knight of Pentacles coming in. Um, this is a responsible person. This could be a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy that we're dealing with here. And that is uh, clarified by the um, Queen of Cups here, which is uh, Cancer, Scorpio, and uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Um, I feel like an apology is coming in. Somebody hurt you, Libra, uh, and we have an apology being offered to you, okay? Uh, but this person that's going to be offering you the apology, um, this is what kind of caught me off guard before. I mean, look at these two faces. Look at these two faces. This person has a bad energy around them, Libra. Just bad energy, okay? Um, so here we have the King of Swords, all right? And the King of Swords is not someone that really deals with emotions, okay? This is an air sign, so it's uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. And um, they're serious. They don't deal with emotions. They, they, they want you back, and they're, they're like, obsessive about it. I mean, they're, they're obsessive. You know, they are um, very controlling, I feel. I mean, this can also mean, you know, passion. Um, but, I mean, I don't know if they're dealing with, you know, um, addictions, but they are, uh, I, I just have a very bad energy about this person, okay? Um, so that worries me a little bit, but definitely action is being taken, um, and the King of Swords is, you know, coming in clarifying with the Five of Wands, so you're going to be getting some communication, like I said, you're going to have someone trying to offer you an apology, but I don't think it's going to be done in a very nice way, Libra. Um, there's a lot of competition, conflict here, you know, standing their ground, um, <clears throat> jealousy, you know, possible third party situation here. We have the three of pentacles and this person is very jealous. This person is obsessively jealous, like bad energy here, Libra, not, not good energy here. So three, 
Three of Pentacles is clarified by the Seven of Wands. Again, you know, communication is coming in. So we have Earth here, okay, which is, again, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. And we have the Wands, which is a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Um, but as you can see, I mean, I feel like they're very jealous and you're trying to fight off all of the, this, the, whatever they're bringing to the table here, all this conflict and jealousy and obsession. I mean, you're trying to fight it off, Libra. Okay. I mean, this can be vice versa. Don't get me wrong. It can be vice versa. Um, but you know, I feel like, I feel like here you are, you know, just looking so peaceful, so serene with your cup of love, you know, you're just, you know, a very loving person. Um, and they are coming towards you, you know, but just not in a positive way. Okay, not in a positive way. Um, again, here we, we have the uh, Eight of Cups. Okay, so here you're trying to leave. You're trying to leave, and this person is charging towards you. Okay, again, we have um, the Wands. So this is going to be the Nine of Wands. This is uh, communication. This person is charging towards you. So, yeah, so they're going to come in. They're coming towards you, and they want reconciliation with you. You have the Six of Cups, which again can be Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They do want reconciliation with you. They may even come in offering you marriage, okay? I mean, we have the Hierophant here um, that is unity and marriage. They might try to reconcile with a marriage proposal, but I don't know, Libra. I, this, this, this reading is really, I don't know, bad energy. I don't know what, what the deal with this guy is, but um, you try to leave and, and this person does not like it. Okay, um, so here you are now with your, you know, queen, queen of swords. Okay, so this queen is cutting off her emotions. She's, you know, this is a queen that works off of strategy and ambition. Um, you have your guard up here. Okay, and, and that's clarifying the three of pentacles. So, um, you know, you're putting your guard up. And again, it could be a third party situation, but, it, you know, I feel like here it's more jealousy and you're putting your guard up against this, this bad energy that he's bringing to the table. You know, I mean... I think the person loves you, don't get me wrong. It's not that he doesn't love you, um, or she doesn't love you. I, I do believe your person loves you, but by you walking away, it has just opened up something in them, or vice versa, in you, you know, that it's just, you know, this bad side of them is coming out. Now, um, here we have the Fool. Okay, to clarify the Fool, the taking risks, we have the Two of Wands. Again, the Two of Wands can be communication, but I feel like, you know, this is you looking out like, wow, this is this is just not for me. What else is out there? You know, you see them looking out, this is just not for me. This is too much. I'm, I'm over here peacefully sitting, wanting to give a cup of love to somebody, and, um, you know, this is just too much. This is too much. Um, so here we have the Emperor, okay? So you have the Knight of Pentacles coming in, being clarified by the Emperor, okay? Now the Emperor is Aries energy, so that is fire, okay? And the Emperor, he sets boundaries, he's in control, he's, he's in control, he keeps order, okay? Um, so this is definitely a very, I want to say controlling person, you know, he's definitely someone that, uh, I don't know, I'm going to leave it alone. Okay, so here we have the Five of Wands, okay, again, fire energy, and that is being clarified by the Nine of Cups, which is, you know, wish fulfillment. He is fighting because he wants this, okay, he or she, your, your person, and again, this can be vice versa, it can be you too, Libra, but they are fighting because they they want you, Libra, they, they do love you, you are like everything to them, okay, um, and by you walking away, you know, again, possibly because it might be a third party, you know, third party situations aren't always um, another person, okay? So this could be, again, you know, we have the devil here, so it can be an addiction to drugs, a sex addiction, uh, an additional person, his obsessive, jealous behavior, his controlling behavior, his or her, excuse me, your person's behavior. Um, it could be, you know, any of those things standing in between your relationship and which caused you to emotionally disconnect and walk away. Um, you know, but they see you as their, their everything. They see you as their wish fulfillment. I mean, again, look at you. Why wouldn't you be? You know, you're a very loving, kind, serene person. All right. And, and you, they see you as their everything. And, um, I'm not sure if you were aware of this side of them, but it's there and it's coming out. So here we have the seven of uh, wands, again, a lot of communication, 
Okay, and to clarify that, we have the Nine of Pentacles, which is a Virgo energy. Um, it is Earth, so we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, possibly. Um, but as they're as you're trying to overcome and and you know turn away from this person and, and you have your guard up okay you're going to find that you're going to be financially stable you're going to be independent so basically i mean you look okay here libra i mean look, look at you you look okay peaceful serene i mean it doesn't really look like any of this is bothering you you do have your guard up against this person but ultimately i mean walking away from this person doesn't really bother you and i i can See why? Because he, you know, he's bringing on he or she is bringing on a very negative energy. Okay, they really are. They're bringing on a very negative energy. Now to to clarify the devil, we have the world underneath. Okay, and we have the lovers. All right, which is very good, Libra. That's a good sign. Okay, so the world means that. Uh, a cycle is ending and something new is beginning, okay? So it is very possible that this person, you know, might see that, listen, you know, the way they're acting is causing you to leave and you're really okay with leaving because their actions are way too much. It's becoming too much and they're going to lose you, okay? They're going to lose you if they don't change. And um, it's just so funny because when I first picked this up, I said change, and it's funny that this is underneath. So we do have, you know, something coming to an end and something successful, a new beginning. So this person may, you know, be coming to, they may be coming on strong initially, like really just overwhelming energy. I'm just getting like an overwhelming energy here, but it's not done because I feel like they're a bad person. I think it's just done because you really are their everything, okay? You're, so we have soulmate connection here, all right? You really are their, their everything. I mean, we could be dealing with a Gemini also, um, but they want, you know, we have the, the lover's card here and we have, you know, the Hierophant. They see you as wifey, hubby material. I mean, they you are their everything, okay? You are their everything and, and it caused them to lose it for a little bit, but I think that they are going to realize their actions, uh, the cycle's gonna come to an Ends and things are going to start changing, Libra. I think that they're they're willing to change for you. All right. So let's see what the romance angels have to say. What do we have for Libra for June two thousand and nineteen? What messages do we have for Libra? June two thousand and nineteen. So we have make the effort and we have calling in your soulmate and we have let go of control issues. Yes, I, I felt that very strong, very controlling person. Um, and then underneath we have you deserve love, Libra. You deserve love. You are lovable. What did I say? You're sitting here just all lovable, looking so sweet and kind. Look at you here. You're just so serene. And I mean, again, this could all be vice versa, okay? But I mean, that's just the feeling that I get. You're just sitting there um, and, and you know, you deserve to be loved. And that's why you're leaving this, this face, this, this guy, this, this girl, whoever this controlling person is, needs to understand that love is what's going to save the day here. They, they need to make that change, all right? So let's see here. So make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay. So 
I feel like, you know, they are making the effort to get you back, okay? But it needs to be communicated that the way they're going about it is incorrect, okay? That you deserve love, that you, you don't deserve all this malice that they're bringing to the table. You just don't deserve it. And that they need to let go of the control issues. Allow the, the situation to unfold naturally, you know? They need to let go of the, of the uh, control issues, okay? I mean, the energy that they have is so strong, like, it's like, I can't even talk. Um, it's like they went nuts because you walked away. And this could be vice versa, Libra, okay? But, you know, they have to let go of those control issues. You do deserve love and not to be, they have to trust you, Libra. You know what I'm saying? They have to trust you to know that you love them, they love you. Because this is a soulmate connection, Libra. It is, all right? So, calling in your soulmate came out. Um, your prayers, affirmations, and visual visualizations help bring you together. Okay, so you're manifesting this change, Libra. You want them to change. You want the world with them. You want the situation to change. This is a soulmate connection, Libra. It is a soulmate connection, okay? But I feel like this, this is the third party. This is what's, this bad attitude is what's coming in between you two. I mean, look at these faces here. Let me put this a little bit closer. I mean, look at those faces, how similar they are. I mean, they, they you just can't have a relationship with someone that, with jealousy like that, control issues like that, you have to, you know, and, and even under here, see, it's it's making you feel trapped, it's making you feel like you don't have a voice, you see how you're blindfolded there, um, th this was the next card underneath clarifying um, the devil, so, I mean, you're finding it off, you're trying to overcome, overall, I don't think you're going to go too crazy, um, when you guys do separate, because I think deep down, you know that he loves you, okay, you know that he's going to come to his senses, but there just has to be a break, again, that world card means that something has to come to an end, so that, you know, something new can begin, you see, something ends, and, and something begins, so I think that deep down inside Libra, you know, or your person knows that a separation is needed for them to see what they're losing, okay, you will have your guard up a little bit, because you want to make sure that they change, but this person is coming in with back. They want reconciliation. They do love you, Libra, okay? So walking away might be the best bet, but they're not going to let it go. They're not going to let it go. They will fight for you. They're going to offer that apology. And you may be scared, Libra, to take that risk. You may be scared to walk away because, you know, we're always scared to walk away. What if they don't love me enough to chase me? What if they find someone else, you know? But it is what, you know, you need to do and you know you need to do it. Okay, but you are this person's wish fulfillment. You are their, their everything, Libra. You really are. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope to see you back on my channel soon. If you enjoyed, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Have a nice day, guys.